Yo, what's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be working on 350Z. We have a few parts to install. Uh, first thing I'm going to be installing is pretty much the GK Tech Hydro setup. It's the dual caliper setup. Uh, pretty much got everything from GK Tech. They, they sell pretty much the whole thing, the lines, the bracket if you don't, if you don't want to make your own holes. Uh, pretty much everything except, except the calipers and the pads. Uh, I got those somewhere else, but pretty much everything in here, we're going to be going through everything, installing it. As well as a new axle because the driver's side is pretty worn out. Um, I got the bracket for the seat and a bucket seat as well for whenever I hit the track. I'm going in like a, uh, in a week and a half, so that's going to be very uh, helpful. But pretty much, I'm not using um, sliders for the actual seat. I'm just going to be doing like a firm seat since nobody else gets in this car but me. So yeah, let's get to it. All right, so the first thing I'm going to be doing is removing this front driver's seat since I'm not going to be using it anymore. Uh, and I have to take off the center console and pretty much everything in the back. So uh, there's two bolts back here, and then you just take off that piece, and then there's two bolts in front of there to have this uh, center console come off. So I'm going to start doing that. All right, so for the front seat, there's two front bolts and two rear ones. Uh, it has this little cover. You take off these little covers, and there's a 14-millimeter bolt under that. So I'm going to take these four off and have the seat out. All right, so I removed the two bolts back here holding the center console. I just removed the two front ones, and it's pretty and disconnected. Uh, this plug right here and now it's pretty much just ready to come out all right now that i got the center console off i'm gonna remove all these plastics right here in the center um most people just make holes or try to run the lines through the bottom or or whatever but i want to do it the right way and i want to see what the easiest way is to run the line so i'm gonna remove all this hopefully i can find maybe i can run them through those two holes and then through the other one so i don't have to make my own holes but we'll see right now i'm gonna start taking all this stuff off all right, so I ran this line through here, through this hole in the center console. And then I made a hole up here. Uh, you can see it comes from the other side. It feeds up here. So I'm gonna put the little three-way three, uh, three -way thing right here and I'm gonna just bolt it up to this little 10 millimeter since there's a, a hole right there already re that's already threaded. Uh, so now that I already have this line in, I'm gonna just go actually do the handbrake assembly and the master cylinder. All right, so for the handbrake assembly, you can either weld it on your actual car or you can buy this bracket. This one goes, this one mounts up to the shifter and then the actual master cylinder just goes up to here with this bracket and that's how the handle works but i went this route because i don't want to trim my uh, pretty much anything inside the car i don't want to trim anything so uh, this is why i got this bracket but yeah pretty much i'm gonna put the little uh, master cylinder uh, these are the bolts for this actual bracket and then the handles right here and for the handle i actually went with this silver one because i know it's gonna get scratched over time and my shift knob is silver as well so um, that's why I went with this color. All right, so this is what it looks like with the master cylinder in already in the bracket. Pretty much has four bolts in the bottom and then two right here on top. And then with the actual handle, you just put the little uh, adapter and this will throw it into the actual master cylinder and go right here. And that would, uh, the last bolt would come in right there. All these lame ass fools and they bring them nick down Got some nerd in that bang, don't got the voices speak loud I ain't tellin' about the ones who be supportin', no doubt I'm talking about the photo, got a lot to say now Got hella out of they ain't be scope Alright, there you go, it's all assembled, now I'll put it on the actual shifter Alright, so on here we're gonna take off these four 10 millimeter bolts for the bracket And this metal bracket, you're not gonna use it anymore, so you can throw it away or put it aside Alright, so I got it mounted, but I did put the four new bolts that it comes with. I didn't use the old ones, and like I said, I didn't put this bracket back uh, back on. So, what I, the only thing I didn't like is that this thing is pretty much rubbing against the actual panel. Like, there's not enough space for the cap to come off. I mean, I can take it off, but it's pretty much just going to rip this piece. So, I mean, I already adjusted it all the way over here. That's the only bad thing about it, but I mean, it fits pretty good. So, now I'm going to just put this line on and then move to the rear stuff. All right, so I got my banjo bowl. I'm gonna use one washer on top, pretty much like this. And then the other one's gonna go at the bottom. That's pretty much what it looks like once it's on. You see one washer on top, one at the bottom. And then this line is ready through here. Now I'm gonna just put the three piece, make the two holes over there, and then start putting the rear calipers. All right, so I just ran both lines to the calipers. I, I took this uh, these plastics off, and then I made the hole right here. You can see the holes through there, and then it comes out through the wheel water. I'll show you guys where it comes out, but same thing on this side as well. So this is where the line comes out, and this is where the caliper is going to be. So right now I'm going to just leave them like that, install everything else, and then I'll actually thread in the lines to the calipers. All right, so for the rear, you got to take off this little pin, and then you got to take off the axle. So I, I already loosened this uh, 32 millimeter nut, 
And also I gotta remove all those bolts uh, holding the axle to the differential. Uh, they're 14 millimeters, they're bolts and nuts. So I'm gonna take all those off and then continue to remove the caliper and then just remove everything else. All right, so the old axle's out. This is why I'm replacing it because I already knew it was shooting grease everywhere. The boot ribs, so I needed to replace it a long time ago. But now that I got it off, uh, I can take off the caliper. And there's four bolts back here holding the actual knuckle. I had to take off the knuckle and pretty much everything off. So let me start by taking this off and I'll show you guys. All right, so I took off the rear caliper. There's two 19 millimeter bolts holding the bracket. Once you have the caliper off, you can take off the actual rotor. Once that's off, you got to take off the wheel bearing. There's four bolts holding it. So I'm going to take these off real quick. And I believe there's another two for a bracket down here. All right, so I got the four bolts out. They're 17 millimeters. Once you take those out, you can take off the wheel hub. And once you take it off, it'll give you space for the uh, actual brake shoes. So once you take these off, you can take off the guard. And we're going to have to cut some out. So I'll show you guys what we have to cut right now. All right, so these brake shoes are pretty easy to take off. First, I took off this little spring that's holding up here. That's making both shoes uh, go in together. And then same thing with this bottom one. I'm gonna take that one off. And then you see the, these little flathead ends. There's two of them. You just pretty much push this one in and twist to the left and it comes out all together. So do the same thing with this side. And then I'm gonna take off uh, the actual cable. There's two uh, big 19 millimeter bolts holding it. All right, so I got the brake shoes out. Now there's this little bracket holding the actual uh, e-brake cable. That one just has a little pin. You can pop that little pin out and it'll come off. And these are the last two bolts holding everything together. So you take off these 17 millimeter nuts. There's two of them and then it just pretty much comes out. All right, so to cut it, I'm gonna mark before I cut it. So uh, pretty much this is how it's gonna look. So I'm gonna cut around this little groove and this one right here. All right, so I already cut this side. This is the piece I cut out. That's enough space so the caliper can fit perfect like that. So that's pretty much all you have to cut on this one. All right, so now that I cut that piece, I can start putting everything back together. So for the hub, you're gonna use these four bolts. They're gonna be the longest ones. It comes, the whole kit comes with a lot, but it's gonna be the longest ones. There's eight of them. So four on each side, you're gonna put the washers as well. All right, so that bracket goes first and then you can put on the shield. And then you can put the e-brake bracket back on. Run the cable through the middle right here. All right, so I got those two bolted up. Now I just put this little bracket and put the little pin that I showed you guys from earlier that I took off. Once that's on, you can pretty much just start putting the e-brake uh, shoes back on. All right, so I got the brake shoes back on. Now I can put on the actual wheel hub. All right, so I got those four bolts tied already so I can put the rotor back on. Once you have the rotor back on, spin it. Make sure that you don't have to adjust the brake shoes. So it's not making noise, so you're good. So now I'm gonna install the caliper. So I'm gonna put this one first and then this one second right here. So for the original caliper, you're not gonna be able to use the original bolts because of the space. It pretty much got pushed out a little bit. So you need longer ones and you're gonna need these little spacers. So it comes with a lot of bolts, but the ones that are mid-sized ones are the ones for the original calipers and then the smallest ones are for the new caliper. All right, so the old caliper's back on. Uh, you can see I put a little spacer and the long bolt through. So uh, this bracket is on. I'm gonna just grease up the slider bolts and then the actual pads where the where they're gonna touch right here. And then I can put on that caliper. But you have to make sure you put the one with the bleeder port on top, or else you're not gonna bleed the system. All right, so I got everything greased up and tied up. But before I put on the caliper to the bracket, I'm gonna put on the line because it's a fixed line. The other side is a swivel, but this one's fixed. So you're, you don't want to keep turning and turning it instead just uh put it on before you actually put the caliper to the bracket all right so now that everything's on the last thing to do is put on the axle spacer and the no axle but with the axle spacers they have three options this is a 10 millimeter they come with a 5 10 and 15. uh the five is if you're stock because obviously you need to push it out since you put you added a spacer but the five is if you're stock the 10 is if you're a little lowered and the 15 is if you're slammed so i went with a 10 because i am lowered but i'm not stand so I went with the 10, it pretty much just goes behind it and then the axle. So I'll show you guys how it goes. So you can see this is the back of the wheel bearing. The flat side goes this way and the one with the grooves goes to the side. So it pretty much just sits like that and then you're gonna put on the axle right there. All right, so the brand new axle's on, the spacer's on, everything's tied, so everything's done on this side. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do the exact same thing on the other side. 
got a little back and she got a hold on me now. I got hella enemies who tryna be homies now. You know the shit is in me. I got me a little crowd. You know my mama telling everybody she is proud. I had people tryna get me, tryna break in my house. For the dumbest shit, don't even know what it's about. I had hella people fly, they asking where you stay at. They just want some money, but I can't give them all that. Alright, so this side is done as well. I already tightened up the line. Pretty much everything is done on this side. All I have to do left now is pretty much just uh, tying up these lines to the T piece and then secure it by putting these on. So I'll make a uh, little hole. So I'll show you guys where I make them right now once I'm done. All right, so the lines are connected. You can see I put a little tab right there and another one right there just to hold the line, make sure it doesn't go anywhere. And I also put some in the front, but that's pretty much it for the hydro brake. Uh, everything is done. You can see all I need to do is just uh, pretty much bleed the system, but I'm gonna install the seat first and then bleed the system after once everything is done. All right, so I already put in the seat. I'm pretty much just marking up where I have to make the holes, but by the looks of it right now, we don't have to make any holes. There's already some existing ones. Um, I pretty much put a bowl at the back right here and one in the front. And I got in here and like it, it fits pretty good. So I think I'm gonna leave it like this. So now I'm gonna just take it off again. Uh, these bolts, I don't really have them threaded. I mean, I only have a couple threads in or whatever, but I'm, I'm gonna mark it up good again. Uh, make sure it doesn't move. And then just tighten up all the bolts and then try it out all right so i got the four bolts lined up i pretty much already tightened them you can see these are the ones i have on there um i just put four of them one on each side and then i also put the buckle off the original seat since i'm not using i'm using the stock seat belt right now uh, i don't want to get harnesses yet or anything since i'm dating this car but yeah i pretty much put the stock buckle on there just uh, put a bolt through there so yeah i'm gonna just uh slap it on the car and then put the actual four bolts to, that goes to the bracket all right, so there you go. It's pretty much in. Everything's bolted up. I put the stock bolt so you can so it can have the little covers. And this, I pretty much just adjusted the back one to the middle so it can be a little slanted. But I already tried it out. Um, all I have to do now is just bleed the system so I can go try out the hydro. But yeah, I mean, it, it feels pretty good right now. So uh, I'm gonna do the hydro right now. I'm gonna bleed it and then go take it for a drive. Go ahead, Willie. So I just saw that it does work. I kind of try to use it right now, but I still need practice with it. I don't really know how to use it. But I mean, I, I am running out of gas right now, so I gotta go pump gas and I'm gonna just call it a video. But thank you guys for watching and I'll see you on the next one.